And thank you for staying with us. Now, former Johannesburg Mayor Herman Mashaba says he's deeply saddened by Mabonya's death. He described the businessman as a hardworking family man who valued education and had no fear of failure. And Mashaba now joins me for this conversation. Thank you for your time. Thank you very much and compliments uh, to you and yeah. uh, the, the viewers out there. What a, a sad day yeah. uh, as we start uh, 2020 uh, uh, with the loss of one of our icons. Mm -hmm. But I think uh, if you look at uh, his life, uh, we need to really be honest with ourselves and really celebrate uh, the contribution, enormous contribution that is made uh, yeah. to the country and some of us, our lives. I know personally I was influenced uh, by Richard Maponi's uh, business acumen. Uh, acumen. As I was yeah. growing up, uh, I said to myself as a young person, I said, I'm a, one day I want to be like this man. Yeah. And I, I shared this uh, with him on a regular basis as and when, and I had an opportunity to engage with him. Sure. D did you know that he was such a hard worker? I mean, I was saying to my friend, uh, uh, rather not my friend, my colleague, Rupio Madzena, that, you know, perhaps this is a message from Datima Bonya that we are young, we better be working still in our late 90s or late 80s because here's a man who was still going to the office, still had ideas, was still planning, had visions in business at the age of 99 because he just would not stop. Yeah, well, in fact, it's interesting. I listened to one of his interviews, but obviously I've had engagement with him, as I say, over many years. So that yeah. uh, his retirement, he says, is going to be on the day when he passes on. Mm. <laughs> and and I think yeah. it's a philosophy that personally I believe in. I will retire the day when God's desire is the last day for me to really be on the set, uh, because uh, yeah. I cannot really imagine one really sitting back. Right. And I think uh, Richard has, uh, Dr. Maponi has really been one of those icons, but. It's, you know, you look at his success, it wasn't really luck. Mm. If you look at successful people all, all over the world, I've studied uh, successful people over right. the world, and it's, it, it is there documented. Successful people revolves around hard work, mm. which Richard Maponya uh, embraced. Um, f stable family environment. I mean, when I grew up uh, going to Soweto, um, we just didn't know about Richard. We knew about Richard and Marina, right. his wife. Yes. It, it wasn't just yes. Richard. It might, uh, his wife was there with him all the time. Yeah. Uh, he did not really fear uh, failure. A lot of people don't go into business. Mm -hmm. uh, they don't succeed because they fear failure. Right. And the thing is, people don't actually look at uh, what if uh, whatever I'm trying succeed. Failure, you fail what you do. You lose money mm -hmm. and you start again. Right. Also believed in education. I engaged with him a few years ago. He called me to his house to share with me his uh, dream of uh, establishing a, a college, technical college, uh, after coming back from uh, the Brazil, learning about what the Brazilians have done in equipping and upskilling their people to be technical people. And uh, I'm sure he must have really died uh, a very sad man because I think mm. the project he was prepared to put his, you know, his own money, but uh, getting government support was a huge challenge. Yeah. And I think if you look at successful people all over the world, there's four characteristics mm -hmm. actually embrace raises what uh, successful people uh, they are, they are believe in. Yeah. Hard work, f stable family environment, um, believe in education and, uh, and so forth. So yeah. I think uh, the, f I'm really feel lucky. I was inspired by him. Absolutely. The, the Richard Maponis, Mutsunyanis, the Walter Dube. You know, I started my business with 30,000 rents uh, from Walter Dube, who I didn't know was mm -hmm. much older than I am. I just went to, to Walter Dube with a dream. He says, Mr. Dube, We've got this uh, uh, this uh, d d dream, idea. <laughs> this idea. Would you give us the funding? And, and, uh, and, uh, and that's what happened. And inspired by uh, people like uh, Richard Maponi. And let's talk about him believing that entrepreneurship really could solve some of the social issues that we have in South Africa. Because he's a man who said, I, I see what's happening around Soweto as a township. I see what's happening to you know, black people who were previously disadvantaged. And he really believed that entrepreneurship, business, would be able to solve you know, some of those issues through you know, Maponi Mall, just among some of the businesses that he believed in. Well, I think, look, uh, if we want to really be a, a, a successful nation without uh, uh, entrepreneurial development, we can as much forget it because government is not going to uh, to solve our problem. Yeah. We need government to create an enabling environment, but allow the space, particularly for small businesses, to flourish. 
Unfortunately, since 1994, we really killed that spirit because for May 27th of April 1994, I thought we were going to see the explosion of black entrepreneurs because we could do it when we had to carry past laws. Right. I don't know if you, you and I should have brought my uh, brown reference book, which I, mm. I had to carry all the time. Even when I was a businessman contributing to the economy of this country, I had the police stopping me wanting to know where I worked and uh, why I had to really be in a particular right. area. So. 1994, I thought, well, you know what, with our uh, democratic government, there'll be space. Unfortunately, yeah. our uh, labor laws have to a large extent uh, contributed uh, to, to the demise of uh, black entrepreneurship, but including the entrepreneurship, uh, right. entrepreneurship uh, spirit that we, uh, uh, cr we created. And I suppose it's up to the next generation of entrepreneurs now to take that baton and, of course, continue on. But thank you so much, Mr. Thank Hume, you Mr. so much.